What's going on guys? Welcome back to another real estate video. First things first, I wanna give a huge shout out to everybody that's been showing love on the real estate videos. We really appreciate it out here. Last time, some of you guys said you clicked just for the S2K. So I figured I'd start off with the S2K today. Now this isn't my car, this is Alan's car, but look at how beautiful this thing is. I wasn't a big fan of yellow cars at first, but after seeing him and Tango with the yellow car. I think I need a yellow car in my life. This is an AP2. I forget what, what type of yellow this is, but it's a beautiful, beautiful color. We're over out here in Mountain View, and we're gonna check out this four bedroom house. Alan's waiting for us inside, so let's go. What's up, Alan? What up, guys? How are you? Good. Thank you for having us again. Of course. We got a four bed, four bath home on 2,300 square feet, 6,300 lot size. And we're nestled right in the heart of Mountain View, California. What Mountain View has, they have a small company that's like a little startup. Uh, you might have heard of it. It's called Google. Um, you can Google it. <laughs> so that's like a pretty good company out here. Are the house prices a little bit higher out here because of the closeness to the, the companies like exactly. that? Exactly, so that definitely brings up the value and the close vicinity to Google. So then the prices have definitely risen along with that. This video is sponsored by Google, link is down below. <laughs> no, but we're gonna check it out today. This is our first Mountain View house, right? Yeah, so last time you know we were up on the peninsula, this is a part of the peninsula along Highway 101. Okay, so this is the door that we just entered from. So we're gonna take it real slow with this one and we're just gonna enjoy everything. So first thing that I noticed is that every single piece looks like it's been renovated. There are some like really wide, uh, what is it called? Like wide plank floors? Yeah. Wide plank flooring, yeah. repainted with the, the baseboard. baseboard. We're learning, we're slowly <laughs> learning, guys. My dude watches a lot of HGTV. House Hunters, come on, sponsor <laughs> us. This first room right here is a smaller, cozy room, and it's connected with this dining room, as well as the kitchen. So pretty open concept right here. If you have somebody in the kitchen cooking, getting stuff ready, you could talk to the people over here and talk to the people over here without feeling like there's something in the way, so. I'm always a fan of that. You don't want too many walls just blocking off areas. So the home was built recently in 2023, full construction rebuild. Uh, however, the land itself originally was built in 1942. They basically knocked this whole, whatever was here, they knocked it out, right. built everything brand new. Correct. I think I like that. I, I prefer that a little bit more because mm -hmm. sometimes the bones will be a little bit old. So right. it, looks, it looks nice. What's over here? You gotta find nice out. Bedroom. Ah, this is a pretty good sized bedroom. It faces the front of the house, so you can see the intruders before they come in. Also has a closet, little work area. And once again, this space is staged, so you don't have to use your imagination for this one. We could just enjoy it, how they staged it. Looks like they staged it for a, little like a Timmy. kid's room. Little Timmy, he wants yeah. to be a little astronaut. Little Timmy's room right here. Shoot for the stars, that's what they say. And if you fall, if land you fall. on a cloud. Is that what they say? Kanye West. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are we cooking here, David? Last time was Hot Pockets, this time? <sighs> it's just me and my Hot Pockets, dude. I, it just tastes better on the stove. <laughs> <laughs> what flavor what, what flavor Hot Pockets are, are you? Curry. <laughs> you seem like a barbecue Hot Pocket kind of guy. I actually am. I haven't seen those in a while. Yeah. Do they stop those? I, I have no idea. I haven't been to Costco lately. For your Hot Pocket experience, there is a five stove burner right here. So you could cook five at the same time. What are you cooking on here? Have you ever seen an onion volcano? <laughs> 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 it's a nice kitchen. I like it. And uh, one thing that we noticed when we first stepped in is that this hallway, it looks pretty long. I don't know if the video will capture it, but this is the perfect place for a dog to run. You just throw a tennis ball, boom go all the way down, then your dog will come all the way back. Really long hallway. I would love to run through here because I got the dog in me. <laughs> You're just a dog. <laughs> Bathroom with some interesting tile right here. Very simple. And what's over here and what's over here? Guess, David. Uh, two bedrooms. Two bedrooms right here, you think so? Oh, actually, maybe one bedroom and then like a laundry room. Look at the tile at the bottom. Looks like a laundry room. Ah, nice. Oh. 
We oh. are on. Whoa, this bathroom is different too, even though it's... It's right next to each other. Right behind the other one. I like this bathroom a little it's bit more. It's more futuristic. Wow. It's a big bedroom. What a difference compared to the last one. This can't be the owner's suite though. It's big, like an owner's suite, and it has those uh, two closets over there on that side, and a cow king? This is huge. This is a big bed. You could roll, you just keep rolling and you'll never hit the other person. <laughs> you just, you could roll for miles. All right, let's get into the next part of the house. This side has our formal dining area. See that? <laughs> Alan approves. <laughs> <laughs> the formal dining area with a wet bar. There you go. What's up? Serve up your he drinks. knows, he knows. <laughs> and then there's a whole bunch of built-in cabinets right here and over here. So you could put you could put whatever you want in here. Oh, and there's a built-in shelving right here too. You could put some glasses up there, put some plates, or just put some decorations. But I like how they did this. It's a very nice setup. We also have another family style room, living room, whatever you guys want to call it. And I like how they did the recessed lighting too. What room is this, David? Laundry room. Mm, I don't know, maybe. Maybe it's on the other side. Like when you turn left. Yeah? It has to be. It is, it is. Let's go! So in this one they would put like a stackable. Stackable, so this room is the laundry room slash they call it mud room. Mud so room. This is like in a, when you come home from hunting or snowboarding, you got dirty boots and shoes. You can clean up right here, take it all off. You got a seating right here and then you enter from your side so you don't get the home dirty. Oh, I didn't know it was called a mud room. Yeah. Should we check out the side right now? Or sure. What I like to see is that there's a lot of space to open up those doors and just bring either a car in. Alan said you could bring a boat. So it's very, uh, it's very versatile. I like how everything just kind of opens up and there's a lot of space right here. This, this house seems very long. Maybe even like if you don't have any of that, have like a little party here ah, for Jimmy's or Timmy's little quinceanera, birthday. Dude. A little quinceanera, <laughs> little carne asada. Yeah, that's also a good side uh, barbecue spot. But I feel like there might be another spot down there that we haven't seen yet. So let's check that out. Oh. I like the Mustangs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we have tan bark on the end, which is very low maintenance. And then just a small a uh, patch of grass right there. So you don't have to do too much maintenance. It's a pretty low maintenance house. And we have, uh, what is this called? Pavers. We have pavers. We're learning so much today. <laughs> yep. Pretty big backyard space. In the last video you guys saw, we had that uh, small little side yard. Very limited. It's hard to find something like this. It's perfect if you have dogs that you just want to let roam around. Let's head back inside. This house is listed currently at $2.7 million. So depending on what city you guys choose, you could get a little bit more land. You could get a newer house, you get an older house. It just depends. Let's go over here. Ooh, there's a big closet in this one. Wow. That's huge. You could put all your shoes in here, David. I wasn't expecting this closet to be so big. Because like, the room is a bit smaller. Dude, the closet is actually half the size of the room. It really is. It might be. And it has a bathroom too. We definitely know who the favorite child is. You think this? You think this is the owner's suite? No, it can't be. It dude, can't, it can't what? be, right? Like, look at, look at the room. It's so small, but this is Sarah's room. Sarah's living nice, because she got two sinks. And look at the shower. With the gold accents? Sarah. I want to be like you one day. Would you rather have a bigger room with no bathroom and less closet space? Or would you rather have a room like this where you have everything in it? Cause you're sacrificing. That's what you're sacrificing. Like this could have been extended like a whole big room, but you get that. I don't know. And, and the, AC, her own AC, her own AC, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. She's living nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I said we know who the favorite child is. I think I would pick this room out of all of them. The bathroom is kind of dope. I think the bathroom is what getting me. And then uh, this closet too. Wait, hold up. I'm really confused now. What's over here? Interesting. This is the timeout corner. Yeah, this is for sure. <laughs> timeout corner, homework 
corner or you could just put a put a computer right there and finish some work so it's just a little built-in nook i thought it was gonna go all the way around for some reason <laughs> what's in here uh closet gotta have a crawl space okay spiders. oh i'm scared of spiders <laughs> so where is the owner's suite it looks like there's some stairs right here only one thing to do now let's go upstairs uh -huh. Oh. Even this though, it still feels kind of small compared to the other one we were in. I like Sarah's room a little bit more than this one for some reason. Because there's no door, there's no privacy, like it's just the loft. But I do like these windows. And we also have a bathroom. I honestly I think Sarah's I think Sarah's room was the owner's suite. You think so? Even though it's small? I think so. What do you think? I don't know. Because there's only one sink in this one. I think the middle one we were in with the big bed. Oh, oh yeah, that, that could be too, huh? Comment down below which room you guys like the most. Was it Sarah's? Was it the upstairs one? A little Timmy. Was it little Timmy's the room? astronaut? Or was it that cow king room? Is there a garage here? There is no garage here. So ah. we just have that side yard right there, as we saw earlier. I didn't even notice until David uh, mentioned it. Mm -hmm. So you do uh, sacrifice having a garage for having that uh, outdoor side space. If that's something that you can uh, sacrifice, then this house might be for you. But if you guys want anything real estate related, you want to sell a house, you want to buy a house, or you want commercial space, you can hit up Alan at Tran Realty on Instagram. I'll have all of his info down below in the description. All right, guys, we'll see you for the next one. Bye.